Metro Atlanta and the state of Georgia just keeps growing and that surge is showing no signs of tapering off. New data from the U.S. Census Bureau shows Metro Atlanta had the third most overall growth among U.S. metro areas behind only Dallas and Houston. Between July of 2022 and July of last year, the Metro Atlanta population moved up by more than 68,000 people. That puts the overall population for Atlanta Sandy Springs, Roswell, that whole metro area at more than 6.3 million, inching ahead of Washington, D.C. and Philadelphia as the sixth largest in the country. Two counties in North Georgia are among the five fastest growing in the U.S. Both Dawson and Jackson counties had more than a 5% spike in population, with the city of Jefferson experiencing the most growth of a smaller city in the U.S. 11 Alive's Joe Ripley joining us live now from Jackson County. And Joe, you spent the day learning why the community has seen such a big boom lately. That's right, Jennifer, and the SK battery plant here behind me in Commerce is one of the biggest reasons behind this boom. It's one of the largest economic development projects in the state of Georgia in its history, valued at around two and a half billion dollars. It's brought thousands of jobs here to Jackson County and with that, thousands of families too. We just program our computer and the sewing machine does the rest for us. Business is booming for Charlene Bennett and so is her hometown. In fact, according to the U.S. Census Bureau, Jackson County is one of the four fastest growing counties in the country. We have a lot of people that's moved in from Gwinnett County. Um, that side of the county is just absolutely exploding. We've had people from California, from New York, Michigan, Missouri, Florida, quite a few move in. The growth has accelerated past the point of being able to keep up with it a lot in a lot of areas. Ricky Sanders, another Jackson County lifer, runs the county's parks and rec department and sits on the school board. He says several warehouses, the SK battery plant in commerce and a strong school system have helped the population and landscape grow from a small farming community into a bustling growing one. Nothing stays the same forever. And, and, you know, but you want to maintain that, you know, feel of the county, but the county's changed a lot, especially the last five to ten years. You know, it's difficult. Back at the shop, Charlene Bennett says it's likely growth continues, but she hopes those local ties stay intact. We try our best to, you know, use local, use local, and I hope that it stays that way. I know we can't prevent the outskirts from growing, but I think Jefferson and downtown commerce and Pushton and Brazelton, they're going to stay old, old school. Of course, this growth does not come without its growing pains. Coming up at six, we'll explore how this population boom is putting a strain on schools and law enforcement here in Jackson County, among other areas. All right, Joe, thank you so much. And we have much more on the population boom on our website, 11alive.com. You can find the story tonight on our homepage.